Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome to Doki Doki, the new literature club demo. Now, I was gonna just chill for the rest of today, but this mod dropped today, and I heard that the demo is relatively short, so I decided that, why the heck not, let's just jump into this one, because I wanted to see um, what it's about. And a good buddy of mine, his name's Nico, uh, he's done a lot of the coding on this, and I know it's a, it's a huge project with multiple people, but I know Nico personally, and I really, um, I really like the stuff he helped with in Exit Music, so I decided to give this one a shot too. And also, if you guys don't know, this is a mod developed also by Astronova, the notorious, um, <laughs> the notorious reviewer in the modding community that, community that tears um, bad mods apart and puts the good mods on the highest pedestal. Now. I'm genuinely curious to see what he has given us because a lot of his reviews are actually pretty like straightforward and to the point. Like he does not sugarcoat anything when he reviews a mod. Like if he does not like the mod, he will tell you. And I, I actually can appreciate that because when I read his reviews, I'm like, okay, that's a mod that I think I don't need to play. So I appreciate that. Astronova, if you watch this or see any of this, Good job for sticking uh, sticking with honesty over um, pandering to people. And without further ado, let's get into this. And also, before one, one more thing. I know that Summer Hope exists. You guys don't need to keep telling me about it. I know it's a mod. I just want to finish another moment of you before I start Summer Hope, okay? I will play it. I promise, okay? Just, I'll play it soon. Expect it, like, maybe next week or the week after. All right. All right, guys, let's go. I'm excited to see what's in this demo, even though it's short. <clears throat> I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through the hard times and you helped us get along with each other. Do you get it, New Noodle? Because I'm president now, and I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in, the, in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. Or someone who's very lonely. <laughs> but, all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and to care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know. After all, after all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you. Come visit me sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. Well, dang. Already starting the game off with the feels. <laughs> so, um, I'm assuming this takes place in Act 4 when Sayori becomes president. Morning. I open my eyes and I stare up at the ceiling for a moment. It's Wednesday. And like any other day of the week, I just wanted to stay inside my bedroom. And binge watch some anime. Do I really need to go to school? I can live a simple life working a 9 to 5 job spending the rest of my day single. That's really depressing. <laughs> I only need my computer and a couple of manga series and a moderately good internet connection. Single. That reminds me. We used to tell each other uh, we would get married when we graduated. Man, I don't even talk to her that often. Oh, jeez. You wanted to marry best girl? I mean, I understand. She's pretty great. Well, anyway, it was nice seeing you again. You too, Noodle. New Noodle. I guess I'll see you at school. See you at school? What a liar I am. That was the last time we spoke to each other. That stupid day. Over six months ago. I don't blame her for not taking, um, for not talking to me that much after I left her hanging. <laughs> I don't like that line. I don't like that. 
I keep remembering the literature club. To be honest, it was worth at least an attempt. The club was full of incredibly cute girls. But I'm a coward. A realistic coward at that. Aside from Sayori, who used to be my best friend, I never really had a chance. So it was pointless for me to go and be the guy who didn't know a thing about literature. That's the reason I went to the anime club. It's silly to admit, but it was pretty low, even by my standards. Awkwardness from everyone, slow talking between all the members when we weren't talking about anime, talking down to the other members based on what they did and didn't like. I really enjoy anime and manga, but even for me, that was way too lame. But in a way, I felt kind of at home. Everyone was a little quirky like me. That's why I'm lost now. The anime club was closed down by the principal because some clowns thought it would be okay to watch some questionable content. Oh well. I suppose I can just coast through my remaining days. I'm sure something interesting will happen eventually. Maybe I can meet a girl. Maybe she'd be popular. Or maybe a loner. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Even if I manage to fit... Um, fit in with some of the popular kids. I never accomplish anything. Always be a supporting character. Even walking to school feels mundane now. At least, I'm on time today. Wait. Is that... Sayori? I'm pretty sure it is. Is this a sign? No, it's a Sayori. Real life isn't that cliched. She's usually running late to school, and now she has a few free minutes. Before I, f before I, sorry, before I have a chance to call out to her, she quickly turns a corner, taking the same path we used to walk before we drifted apart. Man, I really have to let go of the past. But every time I try to do that, Sayori or some other relic from the literature club always pops up in my life. Am I being told something? Or maybe I'm overthinking it as usual. I have to stop watching anime. That stuff is melting my mind. Anyways, time for another fantastic day. Even my classes are lame as hell. They don't even go slowly for me to see the at least something interesting. They just happen. One moment I'm just entertaining the classroom, and after the blink of an eye, I'm just going home. Sayori, I can't get her out of my mind. Should I go to the club and pay a little visit? Or would it be too much after my empty promises? But I'm bored. I don't want to go home just yet. A quick visit to say hi to Sayori and the girls. It can't be that bad. Hopefully Sayori didn't take it too seriously. Is this the floor I'm supposed to be on? Has it really been that long? Dang. I hear a couple of laughs coming from... There. I could tell Sayori's laugh apart from anyone else's. This is definitely the place. Do I really deserve a second chance? What if they despise me now? I can't blame them, though. I only turned up for a day, and it was because of the cupcakes. Right. I made it this far. The least I can do is greet Sayori. I knock on the door. Sayori? Noodle, is that you? Who's there, Sayori? Is that a guy? Um, oh, yeah, Kai. Are you jealous? Male voices? Well, at least they got enough members to keep the club open. Yeah, Sayori, it's me. With no hesitation, the doors swing wide open. <clears throat> I'm greeted by that beaming, sunny smile I remember so fondly. No Noodle, I didn't expect you to come to the club again. Me neither, but I thought I could come and say hey, um, hey to you and the others. Last part sounded like I don't want them to be here. And I'm, if I'm completely honest, I don't. I like the old literature club. Well, I'm sure you guys have already met, so if we could... Whoa! It's Goku! 
Oh man, I didn't I didn't know the literature club has Goku in it. That's neat. Actually, Sayori, I don't think New Noodle and the rest of us have had been properly introduced. Let's fix that then. You start, Kai. Whoa! It's sexy Markiplier. Okay, I approve of this. Hey, I'm Kai Tanaka. Um, hey, I'm Kai Tanaka, and you must be New Noodle, right? Sayori likes to share stories from when you two were kids. Nice to finally meet you. Whoa, it's uh. It's emo boy, I guess. I'm, uh, Duo Keizu Suzuki. N nice to meet you. Oh, dang. Okay, I think I found my new favorite. Uh, Buransai Route 1, guys. <laughs> hey there, I'm Buransai uh, Takahashi. Nice to meet you. Man, they got a lot of guys in the club now. It's great. And a little competition to make the main character um, finally wise up. And that's, um, Asahai over there. I'm totally butchering these names, aren't I? I don't care. I'm having fun. Um, cool. Cool to see another guy here. Yeah, I'm Asahai Yamagata. Welcome back. Natsuki barges in, eager to put in her two pennies worth. Wait! What are you do- What are you doing hanging around here? I haven't brought anything to eat, you know. Yuri looks over, noticeably offended. Natsuki, that's very immature and self-indulgent. Huff! So, what do you want to do? Uh, do you want me to go? It's just that I had a couple free hours and I wanted to come and say hello. We haven't spoken in a while, and... Forget about it, I'm leaving. It was good seeing everyone in the club. I just wanted to say hi. I'm... So, I'm really curious... Is Monica in this game? Because she wasn't on the menu screen, and she didn't, like, appear at all in this. No one's mentioned her at all in the game. Like, is she gonna be in this? Or is this, like, gonna be without Monica? I was lonely without the anime club. Sayori looks at me knowingly. New Noodle? Yeah? Don't be silly. Our doors are always open. If you need someone to talk to, bring a book. I'm sure someone will be willing to talk to you. Speak for yourself! Natsuki's just joking. Huff! Come and say hello any day you want to. Well, I for one am always pleased to see you. Yuri looks taken um, aback by her own spate of confidence. Uh, what I meant was I'm just... Her voice trails off as quickly as she retreats into her desk with her book. Are you listening to yourself? He obviously came here because there was something to eat. Okay, Natsuki, stop being salty. I ate a cupcake, okay? Calm down. Okay, Natsuki saw right through me. I'm not surprised. Okay, never mind. I guess that was his intentions. All right, he deserves the chastising. Hey, it wasn't like that. I just happened to come here the same day you brought the cupcakes. I'm sorry if you took it the wrong way. Atsuki looking defeated slumps back into her seat as well. I guess you're not that bad. Welcome back. Jeez, is this worth going through just to see a couple of cute girls? Are you really that shallow? Boy. Yuri seems to have regained her composure and is eager to talk again. Sayori's point has been proven. You're welcome here, New Noodle. Now, um, I'll make some welcome back tea oh it's so weird seeing new characters i'm not used to this i'll help you yuri uh, I'll, I'll get the kettle and the water my plan was to greet the girls but seeing some new faces is always good maybe i can rejoin the club and hang out with these guys dang i think natsuki likes goku over here i knew it hmm anyway uh, what's the agenda for today, Sayori? Man, that tall blue boy. Holy heck. These guys, I'm not too sure about them. But they sound pretty likable. At least enough to make me stay in the club. Sayori looks at me expectantly. I've known her too long. That expression only means one thing. How can I say no? Again. If you insist, Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around me. Yay! I guess this could be fun. 
So this is is this it, New Noodle? Are you joining the literature club? Didn't you invite me a few months ago? Of course I'm joining you, dummy. It'll be great. I couldn't help it over here. Thank you, Noodle. New Noodle. Welcome back to the club, New Noodle. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. I think this gray this gray boy is nervous like Yuri and that they're going to get along well. And that this blue boy is going to go after Sayori. And that Goku is going to go after Natsuki. And I have no idea what the red guy is going to do. I like his design the most though in my opinion. I think he's neat. I like his glasses. Well, if Sayori is happy, I'm happy. Welcome to the club. Welcome. Uh, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm all for it. The more people to join the club, the better the mood will be inside the club room. There you go, New Noodle. You're a part of the club again. A bit of a human interaction never hurt anyone. Sayori is beaming with pride. Sayori, you talk like I never talked with anyone. I have a couple of friends, you know. <laughs> Your online friends don't count. Dang it! <laughs> That's all I ever talk to now. It, it, you got me. Do you for did you forget how long we've been friends or something? After a few minutes, Sayori retreats back to the front desk to continue writing. Okay, now that I'm a part of the club again, what do you guys usually talk about again? Wow, it hasn't really been that long. I I if you'll allow me to explain. We usually talk about what we've been reading. Very nice. I fail to sound enthusiastic. Well, you might find it boring, but if that... That's just because you only read that fancy stuff. Maybe if you read more... Manga? <laughs> Both Yuri and Natsuki look taken aback by this exchange. Hey, Natsuki, uh, don't sweat it. <laughs> it was me, Duo. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? I don't know. Duo! Don't tell me what to do! Why are you guys always arguing? Are we supposed to be friends and everything? You know, I feel bad for Kai. Like, he's just like, can we just all get along, please? Like, children, don't fight. We need this family to stay together. <laughs> also, I really love that, dis that, that expression that he has right there. The design's really good. It feels like Kai and uh, Buransai look like official Doki art. I'm not, li I'm not gonna lie. At least we have the spirit of the family, though. Or something like that. What have I done? Aren't they cute? At least they're not fighting over something stupid like a cookie. I think it shows they have a real passion in what they do. Why are you talking about food? That's easy, I'm always hungry. So I'm always thinking about food. <laughs> At least I have a couple of friends offline now. So are we doing anything tomorrow? Like what? Do you want to do something? Well, it's not that my opinion necessarily counts for much, but considering I'm new and all, but... Don't talk like that. Everyone's opinion is equally valid here. Well, I think sharing poems would be a great way to get to know each other and our individual writing styles. That's... a great idea. <clears throat> really? I thought it was pretty lame. No, it's really a good idea, New Noodle. I mean, it's a first. Are you calling me dumb? <laughs> I think you're a relatively intelligent, New Noodle. I can see Yuri still likes us a lot. I... <laughs> and Natsuki hates us still. I beg to differ! Natsuki, I'm not sure you should be talking, taking that tone of voice with our new member. Why is everyone ganging up on me today? Even Yuri sh shoots her a sympathetic glance. Come on, cheer up. I'll get us some ice cream on the way home. Okay. Buron um, and Natsuki. I ship it. I'm totally fine with that. They can have each other. Goku and Natsuki, that's fine. Oh, whoops. Uh, hold on. Alright. Why, why do we always have to argue? That's the mark of friendship. We all feel confident enough to criticize each other. That's an understatement! But Sayori, you said something about sharing our writing. What are we going to share? Short stories? Haikus? I feel like, um... Poems are good for, 
uh, for amateur writers. I can't get anything to rhyme, but I'll try my best. Poems sounds fun. I'll try. Well, <laughs> well, see you tomorrow. I hope you guys can write one better than I can. Natsuki confidently strolls out of the clubroom. However, before leaving, she turns around and triumphantly exclaims, Have fun trying! Um, Asahai uh, follows out of the class. So it's settled. Poems, I think I read a poem once. That's the end of our meeting. A good meeting. We got a new member, and we've established a new homework. Yay! Yay. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Come on, tomorrow will be a great day. Sayori breaks into an infectious smile. If you say and act like that, I might not uh, be as nervous, Sayori. Yuri turns and grabs her things and walks out surprisingly swiftly for someone of her disposition. Say, she really is something. Yuri, I mean. Well, I'm not that good at writing, but seeing how enthusiastic everyone is about sharing poems, I guess I have to try my best for now. If I know you, if I know you, New Noodle, when you try, you can accomplish anything. It really is impossible not to smile when Sayori's around. Guys, it's been 15 minutes since the club time ended. We need to get going. <laughs> but the, the tea set. Never mind. Uh, Duo starts packing up the tea set dejectedly. Uh, I really like Kai, okay? I think he's gonna be like the serious, like, intellectual one. And I think it's great. Sayori, wanna go home? You said we could walk home together. <gasps> Never mind! I don't like Kai anymore! Oh! He's stealing Sayori! No, I didn't expect that! I thought the blue haired guy was. Oh, man. No! Oh, jeez. I've been gone too long, haven't I? I'm really sorry, Kai. I promised New Noodle I'd walk home with him. Ha! In your face, Kai! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you can be jealous all you want and look at me with all the hate and resentment of your soul and your red hair, but from the fiery depths of hell, you can go back to because I'm walking home with Sayori today. We used to do that when we were little children. Alright, Kai is definitely going to be some competition in this game. Holy crap. Sayori, do you remember those days? Of course I remember those days, silly. The days we used to play outside. You don't really go get out much now. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Sayori, faster than I can react, whips my phone out of my blazer pocket and shows the lock screen to the boys. No words can describe my embarrassment. So, less of this and more of us. I want to be mad at Sayori, but it's impossible with her infectious smiling. Maybe next time, Sayori. But... Oh, wait. Whoops. But... Are these guys feeling what I think they're feeling? I can't blame them. Ready to walk home, then, Sayori? Of course I love walking home with you. The same goes for me. It's funny seeing how <laughs> you try to walk. Do you have a problem with my walking style? Not really. It's just funny how often you stop to see the little things. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> I think Kai is going to murder us by the end of this game when it comes out. And here we are, back to the good old days. Walking home with Sayori feels a little bit too nostalgic. The memories of the times we played outside when we got in trouble for something stupid. Ah, memories. It's good to talk with you again, New Noodle. It feels like it's been months, but we usually see each other every morning. It has been months, Sayori. Although, not every morning. Sometimes you're late and I'm already in school and you're just starting to eat your breakfast. Hey, breakfast is the most important meal of the day and you should eat breakfast too. I do eat breakfast. Don't doubt it for a second. <laughs> Besides, if I want to get to school in time, I don't have any time to eat anything else. Do I need to act like your mom? I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> I barely take care of myself as is. Maybe I should make you breakfast. How are you going to do that? I still have the keys to your house, and I know where you hide the spare key, you dummy. <laughs> I don't really know if I should be afraid or not. Afraid? You should be thankful. I said I'm going to prepare you a nice, tasty breakfast. I'm not going to see you getting dressed or anything. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> I, I see why you used to tease me when we were kids. It's fun to see your reaction. You remember that? I remember much more than you think. With the amount of times you've hit your head. <laughs> there it is. I missed that laugh. You know, Sayori, I really missed you. You too. It was good talking about this with you. See you tomorrow. You too. Perhaps we can... Um... Okay. For a split second there, Sayori said perhaps we can get back together. So that implies that they were dating. Or that she was just saying that she wants to hang out again. But I'd like to think that they are maybe dating. Sayori quickly walks off. What? Hmm? Can't hear you. Sorry. See you tomorrow. I best get a pen to paper. Wow. The new literature club will return. Ah! I knew this was a short demo, but... That was really good. Like... I really like that. Oh, man. Ah! I hate playing demos, okay? I really do, because I always want more after I finish the demo. But... I gotta hand it to you guys, um, the true, the true literature club, I mean, not true, the new literature club, um, development team, good job at making this demo. I really appreciate, um, you, the work you guys all do when making these mods, uh, for free, and for us to play without any, like, anything giving back to you guys. I always think of that as super selfless to do. And it's nice building and adding more onto the modding community. I have to admit, this, this demo was really good. It didn't reveal too much of the game. It was short and to the point, but it showed me just enough to want me to play more. And I really I really like and respect that because some demos I've played that they've showed way too much of the game. And it's like, okay, so this demo that I'm playing is like six hours long. I'm basically playing the whole game at this point. And I just got ahead. Also, the new character designs. I really, really like uh, some of the new expressions you added with them, and the red and blue haired boys, I'm forgetting their names at the moment, but I really like those designs the most. That You did a fantastic job, and it looks like they're actually a part of the original art style with how they were done. So good job. And also, Goku and Natsuki, I ship it, I want that to happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your feedback down below of what you thought of this demo. I'll link this, um, I'll, I'll link the download in the description if you want to give it a shot. It's a, it's a fun, it's a fun little demo. So I hope you guys enjoy this bonus video. Um, I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye, and stay safe.